controversial Energy and Research Institute of India Chief R.K. Pachauri, who is facing sexual harassment charges, has been finally removed today as the Director General of the Think Tank. 74-year-old Pachauri faces charges of sexual harassment leveled by a senior Terry employee. The decision comes a day after the Delhi police sought a cancellation of his anticipatory bail. They claim Mr. Pachauri, Dr. Pachauri is influencing witnesses, misusing the liberty of bail, a charge that Dr. Pachauri has rejected. Last week, a Delhi court allowed R.K. Pachauri access to all Terry offices in the country except the ones in Delhi and Gurgaon. Ajay Mathur, the current Director General of the Bureau of Energy Efficiency, has been appointed as the new DG of Terry. I want to go straight to the woman who actually filed that case against uh, Dr. Pachauri. I appreciate uh, you joining us. You're the complainant, ma'am. Please tell us, do you feel vindicated today? Thank you for having me, Mr. Sadesai. Uh, what I would say is that uh, this is definitely a positive step in my fight, like so far. Um, uh, the investigation can can now be carried out much more freely. All the witnesses out there can can hopefully uh, speak up without any fear. So uh, this is a positive step indeed. How difficult, ma'am, if I may ask, have the last few months been? Did you feel at any stage that maybe you wouldn't have a chance in in actually uh, taking on someone who's powerful? See, I knew this from the very beginning. What I was up against. Uh, it's not been easy at all. It's been extremely uh, difficult for me. I've had no support from the organization. Nobody uh, from Terry has ever like reached out to me or tried uh, to console me. I've uh, been sitting at home for the past five months and not been able uh, to, to join back work. So it's not uh, been easy at all. Uh, but uh, I am not going to give up. I still have a long way to go. The criminal case is pending in court. So my half the battle is uh, still on. What next you, would you like to say, uh, you know, what next, what lies ahead? Uh, you said that for five months you've been at home. You've not been able to, to go back to work. What has been the most difficult aspect of, of, of fighting a case like this, ma'am? Um, you know, I fear for my career, sir. I fear for my job. Uh, all of us are here to just like go out and do uh, some good work. But here it's uh, the career which, you know, has kind of taken like a backseat for me. But I am hopeful maybe I can turn things around. And, uh, but uh, it's not uh, been, been easy at all. Uh, from the organization side, I have had... Uh, no support. I wrote them like a letter to the council members also on 3rd of April. And to date, I have had no response to that letter, not even uh, an acknowledgement as well. So ha not... have, have, have you faced pressure to actually withdraw the charges? Uh, no, I would not like to say that. I have not. I've not uh, like uh, stepped back in, into the organization so far. I've uh, been sitting at home. So I've not been in direct like, contact with the employees. Uh, I right. have a large scale so much, but I've just uh, uh, been complying with the ICC like members like so far, and then uh, you know, so I've not had a chance to kind of meet them like physically or something. So that's not happened. So let far. me let me ask you one final question, ma'am. Uh, what would you like to tell other women who perhaps uh, are facing sexual harassment at the workplace but don't have the courage to complain? You know, I would simply say that when you complain, uh, that uh, that single uh, decision alone uh, just gives you so much strength. So please kind uh, like uh, speak up and come out and go out and lodge your complaints because at the end of the day, it's the truth that actually wins. So I would like to encourage them to step forward and lodge their complaints and to speak up against injustice at their workplaces especially. Right. Ma'am, well, you've spoken out. You've, in a sense, uh, taken on, as I said, someone powerful, and it's not been easy, as you've said. You fear for your career. I appreciate that you've joined me here at the top of the news today at 9 to speak to us. Thank you so much.